everyone. This is Adam Quiney. And today I'm going to talk about a distinction between, I guess we could call it a distinction, don't share and don't care. So um, the, the genesis for this is someone on Quora, uh, Emmy Tringali, I hope I'm saying that right. She asked, what's it like to say whatever you want? Does getting it off your chest take priority over the type of reaction the recipient might have? If you were someone who used to keep it in but has learned to speak your mind, how has this changed your relationships with people around you? So it's, it's first I want to draw like kind of a, there's the doing and the being. And what she's asking about is kind of the shift in doing. So the first place where people often find themselves is where it's, they've got something and they've learned not to share it. They've learned to keep things in for whatever reason, to not bring it forward, to not put it out into the world. So they find themselves on this end of the spectrum. Don't share. So what these people do is they're in relationship with someone and something shows up for them. There's some kind of truth and they hold that back. They're just like, oh, it's not appropriate. It'd be rude. I don't want to shut this person down. There's a million justifications. The, the main gist that we're looking at is that they are hiding some aspect of their truth from the person they're in relationship with. And there's a lot of consequences to this. It takes some of the trust out of the relationship, both because they're not trusting the other person can be with their truth and they're not really, they're, they're kind of managing that person. They're managing that person's reaction and how they might feel about being told what's there, and all of that. So these people in the don't share, kind of like me, is speaking to, uh, they're like, oh boy, it sucks to hold all of this in. And what people often do without sort of the support of a coach is they learn to go to the other side of the spectrum. They go from don't share all the way over to don't care. So the way don't care looks like is, um, you know, if we were to, if I were to use the metaphor of someone in a reality show, like desperate, uh, maybe not desperate housewives, but real housewives, it's that character is like, so-and-so is going to be a bitch, and that's just the way she is. And she just shares her truth, and, sorry, I'm, I'm, I don't intend for that voice to be offensive. But anyhow, that kind of like, this is the way it is, and I speak my truth, and people can be with that, or they cannot, and that's kind of the choice that they get. So I call that don't care. What they're doing is they, they speak truth, how they feel, but they, they're still disconnected. Because now they've, what they've learned to do is to just not be in relationship. It's like, here's my truth. You can either be with that or you can't. And that's what you get. And it's another form of disconnection because they're not really letting that other person have any impact with them. There's no like, oh, wow, when I share that, it actually hurts that person. And, and like if we really get connected with someone, it kind of sucks. It, it's not, most of us don't want to hurt the people that we're in relationship with. So along this spectrum are two strategies that are designed to kind of be in relationship in a way that's safe. Don't share. I don't put it out there. I don't have to be with your reaction. As long as I don't share my anger, my frustration, my upset, I, I never have to be with your reaction to those things. I never have to be with that next stage of what happens in a relationship because that's what relationship is, is one person brings something and then the next person gets their experience and they get to share that. And then the other person gets their experience and gets to share that. And in don't care, it's, it's almost the exact same result. The only thing that's different is the doing. So instead of not sharing, we're now just dumping it over there. And there's still, in both of these, there's a complete lack of connection. Because the person is just keeping distance. They're not actually allowing any intimacy into the relationship. That's really the cost of both of these. Inside both of these particular ways of being, that well, ultimately it's the same way of being. It's a lack of intimacy, a lack of real connection and relationship. So the kind of the punchline is that these aren't bad or wrong. You can create success for yourself from not sharing. Like poker players are very good at, at keeping things below the surface. Lawyers as well. We're very adept at not sharing what's going on. And the don't care kind of approach is also, it can be very powerful. Like if you've got to say something, if you need to get up, even lawyers, I can, there's situations where you need to just say the bold thing and not care what 
the reaction is over there. Not bad skills to have, but what what the the cost of them is in terms of relationships. And when people don't have the ability to do anything but, sorry, it's a little bright. When people don't have the ability to do anything but something along the spectrum or can't even see it, that's where relationship starts to fall apart. So um, one, you don't get the relationship that you probably really want, a deep, intimate relationship. And, you know, people that have this tendency, that this kind of thing, often um, can find their partners sort of saying things like, well, I never feel you. I don't know what's going on. Or you're so cold. It's like you don't even care. And, you know, from the don't care part, that might be true. It's like one of the great ways of learning to avoid loneliness, to, to sort of not have to worry about those feelings is to just shut that part of ourselves down, speak your truth and go through the world doing that. And it's fine. The human body is very adaptable and you can learn to be okay with that. But there's, for most humans, we actually want something more than a, an existence that's entirely self-sufficient without anyone around us. We actually want to be in relationship. We actually want intimacy. It's kind of a fundamental part of what it is to be human. We're social creatures. And so uh, the last thing I want to say about this is that um, people often have, one, a judgment about one of these two sides. And most people that have one also have the other. That's the funny thing about these sort of, um, I would call them like a coin, the opposite side of a coin. So you've got the heads and the tails, but they actually represent the same coin. And we can kind of, we fluctuate along both of them. So if you find yourself in don't share or don't care or somewhere in between, I'm going to give you some practices, some things you can actually take on. The first is to actually let other people have an impact for you. When someone says something, actually allow yourself to feel the impact of that. If they give you feedback or tell you something's not working or ask you to do something, whatever it is, actually allow it to land. Actually feel whatever is there as a practice. If you're a little more courageous, you can share how you felt when they did that. Wow, when you said that, I actually felt kind of despondent. I felt a sinking feeling in my chest. Um, ironically, people with don't share, don't care tend to be a little detached from their feelings, from themselves. Second, you can kind of practice, create an intimacy practice. So if you're the don't care kind of person, actually practice really getting the reaction that people have and letting it, again, letting it have an impact on you. If you share someone and someone says, wow, fuck you. Don't just push that away or blame it on them. Really, like, the best thing you can probably do if you want to build intimacy and increase your intimacy is to really let that in. Like, wow, I actually really hurt that person. And really feel it. Don't try to, to get away from it or to push it aside or to justify it or to rationalize it or to analyze it. Any of the eyes, stop doing those. Your job, if you're a don't care, don't share kind of person, is to really feel the consequence, feel the impact of both yourself on other people and other people on yourself. If you take this on, it'll really start to change your relationships. It'll really open things up for you. All right, take care.